Hello and welcome to my channel Go Geeko. In this video, I will be talking about Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services Application Integration or they are also calling it as Cloud Application Integration or CAI. Mainly what I will go through in this video is the overview of application integration within IICS and also I will give a quick demo of how to create your first process. So on very high level application integration or cloud application integration connects various applications in real time via API calls. Also it automates various processes like you may be familiar in Informatica Power Center or in IICS workflow like that in application integration it can be a really big process where one application is interacting with other application receiving input from one application and sending output to a different application now i also want to quickly talk about what is api because application integration in iic is all about api calls so you need to at least know on a very high level what is an api API is an application programming interface. It's a lightweight architecture which allows two applications to talk to each other. One application sends or posts requests to other application and the other application gets sends the response back. So one example is Expedia search for flights. You may have sent API requests to search for flights on specific date and Expedia gets the response back and sends all the results back to you as you can see in this picture you on your client machine sends the request let's say in this case Expedia server it gets all the results processes them here and sends them back to you as the response that is a very simple API call usually the API call are very lightweight architecture so it's very easy to implement now let's dive into the demo so here is IICS I have logged in make sure you are logged in into application integration right this is where the application integration is so go to a application integration and you will see it here now let's create a first process don't worry about all these things these are very simple the idea about this video is to get you familiarized with creating a process within IICS so let's do it so go to new and new process create now as soon as you hit create there are these are the few basic things which you need to understand there are various things on the left side which you can do within a process all are here and whenever you create a process it comes with start and end now the most important thing is this bottom pane where you see all these different properties so first one is this one let's name it let's create a hello world now you will so let's go to start right you can give the allowed user right you can choose users which are allowed to to use this API whenever you create a process what it really does is it will give you a service URL or a soap URL and that is the URL will someone can run or sends the request to that and then this mapping will send the response back initially you may find it little difficult to understand that but once you create one or two processes it will be easy and always remember API is a is a request and response so there are many times within your application you just want to send us request and get the response back and that is where application integration comes into play let's try to create this process and then hopefully you will understand this thing better once you go to the start let's just for the sake of this demo we will do allow anonymous access meaning anyone in the world who has that url or the service url which we will be creating can request the response from this process which we are creating now the other important thing is input fields and output fields like if you look at it api is a request right so you have to send something so this will be your input field you will be sending something to this process and output field is nothing what you are sending back okay so let's just name something and we'll create an input field plus and i will be very descriptive so that it's easy to understand so let's call it as user input to 
this process okay this is some user is sending something to this process and we leave it as text and you're done here similarly the output would be send response back to the user so this is your input user input to this process output send response back to the user right now we don't know what is the input and what is the output and that's where the assignment comes into play right so input whatever the users will send right but the output we can control because that is something we want to send back so in assignment let's create an assignment and what is the assignment for assignment is for the output field because that is what you're going to send back right you can probably send back what the input send you know but that may not be that useful but so just to make it a little interesting we will do something here so plus and send response back to the user so choose that because you're assigning something to the output this is the output right if you remember that is the output send response back to user in the assignment when i hit plus then i chose this send response back to user now you can very well say hey it's a content and you can just write something but let me just to make it a little interesting i wanted to create this as a formula and when you click here you go to functions and we go to string functions and let's concatenate to so add this function so concatenate needs two inputs let's say the first input is nothing but what my user input is i want to show also what the user sent right and then i will send some response back or i can just write make it more clear and as i see as process response is hello back to you okay and save that's it your first process is created now we need to see how to run it so whenever you create process or whenever you make any change to your process you have to publish it so let's publish it because once you publish it that means now it's available to everyone whoever is authorized in this case everyone is authorized if you remember we clicked on start and we allowed anonymous access so it's allowed to everyone now you must be wondering okay how can i access right so that i'll show you in a minute but first let's run it so you can run or test this process different ways one is right here within iics application integration it gives you the ability or you can use postman you know there is something called postman to test your api calls just to keep it simple we will use run using within iics so run using now user input to this process so send so this is the input some user is going to send this input so we'll say hello go geeko and you can save that you can save that as input and you can use the same input again and again if you want to run it so i'll just say my in just really don't worry about this is it's just this my is my first input and that way you can choose more inputs if you want to run for different inputs and want to test it so you will run that for this input which is hello go geeko so you run it and see it says successful execution so that means it's already succeeded it runs very fast as i said api is a very lightweight so it runs very quickly gives you the response back very quickly because if you look at it the example which i gave for expedia like you don't want it to sit for minutes and wait for your flight results back right that's why these are very lightweight doesn't take a lot of bandwidth on over the internet and comes very quickly within milliseconds and gives you the response back now we need to see you know our results so when you click on that it will open up new kind of your output here now you will see that this ran this ran this ran it's all checked box but we really wanted to see what was our output right so where will you see your output your output will is actually in the assignment because that's where you assign the output so what was the output this was your output and you assigned hello go geeko iics process iics process so that was the input which was passed if you remember we passed that input when we ran it hello go geeko this is the input and now my response was iscs process response is hello back to you so it gave all that back to you so that is the response now sometimes you will see a lot of people and which is actually good also go and look 
things here. So advanced view, as soon as you advance view, it will open up a new new page. And there you can also see your input and output. So if you look at the input, what we passed for this run was hello go geeko. And if you look at my output is hello go geeko, ICS, and this is my output. It's actually the whole thing is my output, but I just wanted to also capture the input. So this is what we have returned back. Now, another important thing is like in your real situation, you won't run that using ICS, right? You will be doing through some other process. So for that, you go to property details and that is where you get your service URL or SOAP service URL, depending on what kind of protocol you're using. So let's copy this, copy. And I want to show that in Postman as well. So if you go to Postman, and you click on a new page and again this is under workspace my workspace and then you this is a post i'm going to post this request and also i will give a body and in this case my body would be let me just copy it from one of my old example here so the body is raw and we will also say it's json that is how this format is this is a json now this is not the input like our input field is actually this user input to this process so we'll copy paste that and you can just send it and if you look at it sends response back to the user hola from postman in this case i gave input as hola from postman hola from postman that is your input and ics process response hello back to you right so the whole thing went back just a simple process and this ends this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my video thank you